been here, this is my fifth week, and I think I've read seven books, but one of them I read two and a half times because it was the only book I had when I came in. It took a while for me to get anything else. This is Joe Halderman, the CBS News producer who was arrested and indicted last fall for trying to extort $2 million from David Letterman. What book was it? It was uh, The Girl Who Played With Fire by Steve Larson. I read it two and a half times until I got another book. I brought it when I got sentenced. On the day I sentenced, I had it with me in the courtroom. Now, Mr. Haldeman loves to read, and you might think that his recent sentencing to six months in Rikers Island, after pleading guilty to second-degree grand larceny, might cut into his access to books. But as it happens, as part of his mandatory work detail at Rikers, he got assigned to librarian duties at the makeshift branch that the New York Public Library runs at the jail. This library for a lot of the inmates gives them a, an opportunity to get books that otherwise they're not going to be able to have. And there are a lot of guys here that, that do want to read. And unfortunately, there's not a lot of guys, well, there's some guys that don't have any other access to books other than this library. The library, which is set up weekly in the gymnasium of one of Riker's lockups, is an expansion of what was once just a small collection of books on a cart pushed from cell block to cell block. I think we've been successful, really, in sort of replicating a library experience as best we can, um, you know, in a, in a jail setting. And they're allowed to take a book and a magazine, and then uh, it just works as a regular library. Next week we come in and we exchange the book with the guys, talk about what they like to read, um, try to get them the books that they want. What is the most popular book? Uh, right now, the autobiography of Malcolm X is probably the most popular book, um, and we burn through paperback dictionaries, which we can never have, have enough of those. A dictionary is a really valuable commodity in here because the guys who do read, or if they're writing a letter, or if they're doing something, some, a lot of these guys are doing something on their case or something. Like a guy came to me the other day and wanted to know the definition of concurrent. I mean, you know, you'd think they'd know what concurrent yeah, is, funny. but, 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 but so, you know, having a dictionary is valuable. So I have been, I mean, basically, I think because I'm old, uh, I get asked a lot of questions. So you're sitting there reading and, you know, it's sort of a constant interruption. There's a lot of downtime in here, and uh, so the opportunity for these guys to get books that uh, they want to read, that helps them, you know, pass the time and stay out of trouble is a good thing. Do they ask you for? Do you give suggestions? And what would yeah. you give? Is it based on what you think the person will like, or just something that you? Well, read I or? mean, like I'll ask this guy, like you know, what do you usually read? Me, um, I like, I don't, you know, I've I've done a lot of time of over the years, so. It, I, don't, I like. I don't really go towards the sci-fi stuff. Yeah. Um, like, for example, like Sanders, I've read like almost all oh, of his stuff at one point, and then I'll go on a different kick for right. a different writer. It might be Grissom. I read almost all of his. How about Jonathan Kellerman? You know, you Kellen, yeah, Kellerman's great. Him and his yeah. wife, right. they're both yeah. are very good writers. It just depends. I see a lot of the, a lot of the young kids. They they like to go more towards the ethnicity, like right. those hood, hood stories, books, or whatever. Yeah. Hey, look, it's going to get them into reading, you know what I mean? <laughs> if that's what it gets to get them into reading, you know, hopefully they'll, they'll go to something eventually that's a little more diverse, you know. But if that gets them started, then fine. 